Hello everyone, welcome to Division Communication coverage of high school baseball. Ralph Sapie along with Ron Sapie. Tonight we're at Central LaFouche High School where the Central LaFouche Trojans play host to the HL Bourgeois Braves. Uh, Ron, it looks like a pretty day out here, but uh, the wind's blowing from the north and it's not uh, 80 degrees. It might look pretty, but it's uh, surely cold. Yeah, <laughs> April 1st uh, and it's April Fool's Day. I, I don't know if, it's just, uh, if that just happens to be. Uh, I'm glad you said that because <laughs> nobody, nobody told me nothing happened. I'm, I'm lucky. Yeah, well, anyway, we got two, two teams, uh, both uh, struggling for the season. Uh, the Trojans are t three and 18, two and two in district. The last game was uh, eight to four loss to Terrebonne last uh, this last Tuesday uh, for the for the H. L. Bourgeois Braves. Uh, they're five and 13, or and four in district. That last game was a ten to nothing loss to who would you figured Hornville. And they're always loaded over there. In every last, uh, last, 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 yesterday. In so, every sport. two things about the, the three things about the two, the two teams. Uh, uh, just, just struggling for. I talked to a uh, coach from Bourgeois just before we went on the air, and uh, he tells me says uh, a, a play here, a play there. Turn the L turns into W, and 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 uh, the, the Trojans are the same way. They just have been playing tough ball all year long. Uh, I know their team's a young team. They lost a bunch of kids last year to graduation. So uh, I, I noticed something in, in the schedule this year. I don't know if it's always like this. But it looks like in district, they play the district team, the same team, like you play in Bourgeois today. They play, I believe, I believe they, they play, they play them Saturday. They play them Saturday. Yeah, and the same play, thing yeah. with district. They just yeah. swap. You play them uh, twice a week, I, I, I just did, in different fields. Yeah, I did notice that. And uh, I noticed that Hornville was uh, was a team that didn't play doubles uh, twice, back, back to back. So I, I, don't, I don't know what's up with that. I don't know, I, I don't, uh, but that's good, I guess. It's, I don't uh, know what the particulars are on sure. that. Uh, for the for the starting lineup for the H. L. Bourgeois Braves, uh, leading off uh, is uh, Luke Lirette. He's going to be a pitcher. Number twenty-three, number ten, Eddie Diggs is playing center field. In the third spot, number twenty-four, Gavin Verdict playing third base. Uh, in the in the cleanup is number seven, Mason Rodriguez playing first base. Five spot is uh, Kristen Dupree, designated hitter, number 13. Six spot, number 18, Brody A. Barish will play shortstop. At seven spot, uh, Cooper Atkins, number 22, playing right field. On uh, eight spot is Kenny Campbell, number 19, playing left field. Yeah, but. Uh, Brady Kaiser, catcher, number three, and Braden. Brandon Bourgeois, Bourgeois. playing second base, number one. We'll have the national anthem here, and uh, again, we'll be uh, back here, and can give you the the Trojan starting lineup. Yeah, both teams about ready to uh, hit the field. The Trojans are getting their positions, and here comes our national anthem. Fairies and scorpions.
For the Trojans, uh, defensively, on the mound is Jack Gautreaux. Catching is uh, Andern Plaisance. Led first base is Brennan Armand. At second base is Noe Grabar. At third base is Zach Hodson. Charge stop is Mason Andrus. In left field is Casey Duplantis. In center is Aaron Dulon. And in right is Brandon Fowler. Catchers. Yeah, Camden, please, I mentioned him. Ron, I'm noticing that uh, the wind's blowing straight out. Like, and yeah, I, and I, I tell you what, it's about 25, 30 miles an hour I, winds, and uh, uh, you get one up there, there's a chance that it may, it may carry. I, I was saying that to you before the game, we were discussing the wind. Uh, it was. Um, 12 miles per hour uh, with a 20 mile gust for this evening. Yeah, other than, other than the wind and the, the cool conditions, it's a, it's a pretty day here at the uh, Trojan Field, Bruce Hard Field. Right? Our first uh, game, cap, we were scheduled to carry one uh, early in the week or last week, I believe it was, and uh, got canceled. That's I, when we I had the, uh, uh, you know, foot of rain. Yeah, yeah. So uh, we're back here. Uh, I think we got two or three more games we're going to be uh, doing here on Vision Communications. Yeah, Hope this, you, this year uh, we kind of got a lot of softball games in early and then we got to have a lot of our baseball games in here late in the season. Yeah. Hope you uh, enjoy uh, viewing our games. Okay, first to lean off for the Braves uh, is Luke Lirat. Eddie Diggs on deck. He's pitch. He's going to be pitching tonight for the Braves. First pitch by Gautreau. And inside. We're uh, right outside the press box, Ron and I. I got my recorder for tonight. <laughs> Had a good view. Oh, good pitch there. Evens the count at one and one. One one pitch. Go through. Ooh. And shot the left field. That's gonna fall into base head. I was just hitting and when it came over the bat it was quick. And uh, wasn't much time to react to it. Got Dugas here. Yeah, so Eddie Diggs. Oh Diggs. D A I G S. Looks like a U, but coach has bad hand right. <laughs> <laughs> Center fielder, Gavin Verdex on deck. It pitched that time. Picked a little something off of it. Yeah, he did. Runner goes. Horrible throw by the catcher goes into the outfield. Thankfully, the runner stays at uh, one second. Well, what we got? What we got there, Ralph? You think we call that an error? No, it's a stolen base. You call it a stolen base? Yeah. Look, look at, uh, look at him. He takes a lead uh, off a second. It's almost one third of the way down to uh, yeah. in there for a strike. He's almost one third uh, of the of the way down to third base when he takes his lead. Pitch then. It was a ball. Yeah, no pitch. There's two and one. 
Come on, put it, play it. Stay on it, Eddie. We got so three and one. Just hearing our second batter getting underway. Uh, nobody out here. Bourgeois has a runner at third. Outside, high. Makes it three balls, two strikes, full count. Underneath you. Short stop calls for it. And that's one out. That was a uh, nation on this short stop. Next uh, 24, that's uh, Gavin Verdix. And Mason Rodriguez on deck, one out. It's a good job there by the catcher to make sure he caught that ball and keep that ball in front of him yeah, so the runner at third doesn't come in and steal. Uh, Camden plays on, so he did a good play. job. Good job salvaging that one. Ooh. Good pitch. Got him swinging on that one. No, no. One and one count. Pitch. Ooh, oh. Gives that one and uh, that was out of play. Out of play. Huh? Oh, oh, no, I caught it. He caught it. Oh, I thought he was going Ooh. out of it. Come on, man. I should have thought the third. I should have thought he was going. He, he was. He was going out and he, that wind. Got to be that wind blowing. That, yeah, wind that wind blowing back, back, back in. Yeah, that wind's blowing right out for you. So it. it the ball was moving. Haitian uh, Rodriguez towards right and it. Stayed in. Mm, fouls that one off. No balls, one strike. Two out here. You go trucking top uh, of the first. If you go trucking, stay ahead of the batters. Yeah, you'll have some success. Hopefully so. Forward one pitch coming up. Outside part of the plate. Two and one. Two one pitch. Right on the inside corner. Inside corner pitch, yeah. Yeah. I think he was looking for something away in. Yeah, I thought the batter was too. Was, was looking for something a, a little away or. He was the count at 2 2. Two out, runner right at third. Popped up. To pop up, somebody call it and stop this uh, bourgeois run, but this bourgeois run will come in because it falls it, in for a hit. In. Bourgeois scores the on. first run of the game here. That one, that one fell when nobody could get to it. <laughs> yeah, with the wind, you kind of don't know where it's going to fall, really. And that was in no man's land, so nobody can actually call for it. Yeah, uh, the Andres was shortstop was trying to shuffle back and just couldn't get to it. That's Dupree. Oh, so go well, let's see if we can get a good play. Oh. Yes, he should be out at second. That's what yeah, I thought. Yeah, he's laying on the bag. He got the ball. He had his. He had the ball in the yeah, glove. Laying on the bag. Yeah, on the bag. <laughs> All right. <laughs> wow, that was a weird play. A great play there yeah. by the Trojans. Uh, the Bulldogs got uh, one run. One run on 
on two hits, uh, no total errors, and one left. So at the end of one half inning of play, the Bourgeois Braves won the Trojans coming to bat. Number three, Aaron DeLone, playing center field. Pitcher Jack Gautreau is on deck. The Braves scored one run in the top of the first. Here we go. First pitch by Lee Rat. That's right. Lone's getting ahead of him in the count early. Oh, pops it up. Look what, look what, a, that's probably a normal infield pop up right yeah, there. Yeah, Round, it, it, it carries all the way to it the wasn't, outfield. It wasn't hit hard, it just carries. I mean, that wind's just blowing it out. Let that flag in center field. It's, uh, if uh, Dilly can shoot the camera, zoom that camera on the, on the, the flag, uh, there it is, blowing straight out. The stars and stripes can be seen very easily today. Yep. <laughs> all right, Jack, go to a pitcher on, on, is that oh, a good sh shot. Wrong hit, but just to the right. wrong spot. Good play there that. by the Braves for out number two. Yeah. That was so a good job. Two up, two down for the, the Trojans. Uh, Braves got good defense so yeah. far. Brody, uh, Brody Abad did a good job. Uh, a short, feeling the ball and getting a good arm throw at first. Didn't have. Uh, can I go to this is uh Ken Kenden plays on. Good it's a good pitch there. Uh, Zach Hodgson on deck, two out. Center low part of the strike zone. It's outside and makes the count one and one. Good pitch, right on, the, right on the outside corner. Hard, hard not to go after that yeah. one. One, one and two. Ball, yeah, one ball, two strikes. Here's the pitch. Down low. It's a good eye then by uh, Plazos. Two to pitch. Oh, that, Ooh, one. that one falls. No win, not a shortstop would have caught it. Yeah, yeah. Good hit that time by plays on. All right, next is the cleanup hitter, number 22, Zach Hodson. Of course, always a Hodson uh, somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> Playing on some field. I know that Hodson is uh, the principal at uh, Bourgeois, I believe he's at Bourgeois. I don't believe he is anymore. He, is anymore. he was. Well, yeah, I no, never remember that. Um, Matthew Hodson. Yeah. Well, I think was actually the baseball coach here at Central Lafouche at one time. Good catch. Good, Good catch, catch by, the, by the right fielder. Right All right. Three up, three down. Yeah, that's a good catch by that's a, a Cooper Atkins. He had a good play that time. All right, for the Trojans, no runs. Uh, one hit, no one left. At the end of one complete, the end of the play. H.I. Bourgeois Braves won. Central Foods Trojans zero. Starting the second here. Yeah, leading uh, leading off for <clears throat> the Braves in the top of the second is Brody Abar, short stop, followed by Cooper Atkins on deck. <coughs> oh, up. Yeah. Good job there, and the Trojans are calling the ball. <coughs> Thankfully, that one went just straight up. Yeah, it did. <laughs> it went far straight up. One pitch, one out. Yep. Sounds good. Next is uh, right field. A guy made the <coughs> great catch this in the bottom of the first. Cooper Atkins. <coughs> oh, pitch high in the strike zone. <clears throat> they would call that swinging that trash. Oh, 
foul that one away. So that's 0-2 uh, here. Popped up. Popped up. Good job. There by the children. All right. Big baseman. Two pop-ups, two outs. That's uh, Brandon Arnold. That's first baseman for the Trojans. For the, made that out. Next is Kenny Campbell. Left field. Brandon Kaiser on deck. Two out. Inside, down, outside, and yeah. strike on both Switching of them. Switching it up. But I, I think if the batter wouldn't have swung, I think both of them would have caught each side of the plate. 0 oh, and 2 here. Ooh, fouled it off, protecting the, the strike zone to stay alive. Still 0 oh, and 2. No. Oh. Like three. Good pitch. Took something That's over there in the strike zone. All right. Braves go down and all at the top of the second. Score is still. Braves one. Trojans nothing. Leading off the bottom of the second for Trojans. It's Mason Andros. He's in the he's batting in the five spot and he's number five. Yeah, correct. <laughs> First pitch by Lee Ray. Ball hit the third base. Base hit yeah. right over the third base. That's what I, that's what I figured. He's gonna go two. Get down here and he's in there. Yeah. Sliding double. Well, I tell you what, he the was the wind. Uh, the outfielder struggled with the ball. <laughs> that one just uh, right over the third baseman's uh, reach. And it was between the first and the third <laughs> baseman's glove and the, and the bag. Yeah, he just followed the line all the way down. So double there. <laughs> Next uh, is that's Brandon Arnold, the first baseman. Where's the uh, bunt? Try to get him up. over. Try to get Andres over the third yeah. base. Yeah, trying to advance the the runner on base. Sacrifice. Andres taking a good lead on. Second base second. person is playing uh, way, way. Ball hits the ground. Good sacrifice. Good job. Perfect sacrifice. Had, had the base front of the third base. <coughs> Next is Noah Grubber. That might have been one of the best sacrifices I've seen in a long time to advance a run at the third base. Yep. Noah is playing. Uh, Played second base for the Trojan. Got a run on third, a chance to score. Yeah, you see where, where the bourgeois infield, the HL bourgeois infield was playing, that their uh, second baseman is playing way far to the right. Has a big gap. Uh, I know, there's a big, he's, played, second, in, he's yeah. played in between second base and first base, literally. He's like a... a I didn't feel a right, that. A right, a right side of the shortstop. In, infielder's in on the corner. Infielder's in on the corner. He'll uh, try to cut a run over the plate if uh, if it's hit that way. Yeah. <clears throat> that was a ball in the dirt to grab back. Yeah. From Lurette. 
get the camera angle, you see the shortstop is closer than the first baseman is. And look at this. Right up, look at this, Ralph. It's an error there. Did you throw? Uh, we got to beat it out, yeah. It's going to be a base hit. It's going to be a base hit? That, that's two hits. Two hits, and now yep. we had to run. Yep. So that evens it up at one here. All right, next is number coming up the bat. Next is number seven, Brandon Falgu. Falgu coming up the bat, uh, runner at first. Four, seven. One out here, runner going in there yeah. for a strike. Good stolen base there. Oh, pop up. <coughs> Craig the planters is on deck with two out. <laughs> oh, good pitch. Yeah. Try the letters. <coughs> I'm broke a bit. Another sacrifice there. Yep. Uh, two outs here. Now the Trojans have a runner at third here. Yeah. And coming Craig, to bat is Craig Zrang. I'm sorry, Craig uh, <coughs> DePlanis. Playing left field. Oh, red ball. <coughs> he fouled it off. I thought, I thought it hit him. And that's what I thought he found it off. So that makes it 0 1. And that third, two out. Going to dirt. Evens it up at 1. <coughs> you can hear the Trojan dugout rallying. Oh, fouled that one off. One ball, two strikes. Oh, Ooh, the game. Wow, that Boy, he just, he just, just got that one that time. Protecting the plate there. One and two again here with the planners. We are. Got a good eye there. He missed the count. Two and two. Oh, oh, pitch. Oh, pitch. The trash. All right. Uh, for the Trojans, one run, uh, two hits. No, no errors by the Braves and one left. So at the end of two complete innings of play, the Trojans won. The Braves won. Pitch in there for the strike in this half inning. Oh, it fouled that one off. So I'll make it uh, two strikes. Yeah. I see that and the umpire shows that I'm sure he's doing a good job tonight. I probably don't need to see the count. That was another one off. Still 0-2. Oh, another one. Still 0-2 again. Good pitch at time. Caught the outside corner. Yeah, that was a good pitch. And that for the strikeout. Good pitch by Gautreau. Number 23 yeah. for HL right. Bourgeois. 
Our next is uh, Lou Lirette, pitcher. Pulls back. Pitch was a ball. <laughs> Outside. Oh boy, that would just miss. Yeah. That's the right call, boy. It just missed, yeah. and we both know it just missed. Yeah. The umpire is very, very, very good tonight and consistent. Oh, that one I think was in the same spot. You see, I talked too soon. <laughs> what happens when you praise the umpire? Ooh, it's a good one there. It's a good pitch. Three, two. Full count here. Oh, that's 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 all. Gives him a walk. It's something you never want to do. I can always come back to hurt you. Yeah, the next is a Eddie Diggs. Dings. Sorry. I guess. That walk is the unseen mistake because you don't see that kind of on the statue. You're, yeah, you're you're right. Hit. You're right. Run leads off of first. And that's high. Gavin Verdict. Verdict is Verdict's is next. <clears throat> Ooh, uh, but the runner at first was gonna go and try to steal him. If he'd have done that, he'd have been dead at second. Catcher was prepared and. Hooper was starting to throw the ball high. Yeah. It's, uh, it's uh, getting away from him a little bit. Squares. Looks back at second. And he stepped off before. Yeah. Him. And then, and then, and then. And that's you can see Bourgeois do here. That's exactly what they're doing. Third baseman's coming up, ready, preparing for the bunt. The runner goes. What are we going to have here? Yeah. And he's in there easily because we had a bad throw. <coughs> By the catcher, so we got a stolen base. Mm -hmm. Now let's see if he can bunt again here, maybe. Would, would you would you have him square here and, and try to burn uh, the third try, right here? Try to, try to get a ball, try to get him to third, uh, the third base. You got yeah. three balls also. And that's what that's what I'm saying. Would, would, a, would a three ball count? Yeah, do you I square? Do I, you, I just, maybe I just let, let it see if uh, get, uh, get, they get that runner on. That's what I would do too. I wouldn't square. I'd keep my bat up and wait for the ball. And there's yeah. it outside. It's back to back walks. Yeah. You just said you don't see that in the stat sheet. Those really hurt you, you know. When yeah. I see the stat sheet, I'm talking about you look at the score box and you usually see all those base hits. On both of these, uh, and you won't see those base hits because you just walked two people on. Both of these batter are on uh, the first one. He went three two, but uh, all of, all these pitches were high, and then he had he had four pitches just now to uh, the last batter, and all of them were high. So. Is to bring the ball back down. Stepped off to keep the runners all closed back to the bags. Runners at first and second for Bourgeois. This is Gavin Verdict. Oh, oh Gavin popped that one up. Let's see if he's going to get out of play. Let's see if the first baseman's going to catch it. And he, Woo, hey, you got to play life. Let's go. Stay he on misses top of it. Oh, that's when you got to. You got to be. That's uh, an error? Yeah. That's definitely that's an, an error, error, right? Definitely an error. Big time error. I think the problem was the light. The light between the dugout, the bourgeois dugout.
the shade. And that, that ball's in the white, and then in that blue sky, that's... Oh boy. Oh, Jack, fix it. Hey, relax, the ball, let's go, it'll be big. Pitch on the corner. Yeah. One and two, I believe, is the count. Come on, Gavin. Yep. <laughs> two on, nobody out. Braves trying to. Uh, so we just need a double play right here. We're really good. Oh, Jack. Fix it. And it's going everywhere. Oh! You're gonna advance uh, both runners. He had an arrow. Yeah. He had him out too. Yeah, yeah. He, he, catches, he, yeah. Catches, he catches that he and he's catch, out for sure. Catch the ball, that's all he has to do. That's two errors. Two errors, both of them this, this half inning. And not in, no hits. Yep. That's the uh, like, like I talked about those two walks. I tried full full count, I believe. Yep. Yep. Three and two. This has got the ball down, but now it's outside. Oh boy. I'm not even going to repeat myself. That's the third one. Fix yeah. it. Three walks. That'll kill you then. And that's consecutive. It was consecutive, right? Yep. Nobody out. Reach that outside. Yeah, with nobody, with one out. Right? Nobody out. The scoreboard says one out. I thought he got the first pitcher on a strikeout, the first batter on a strikeout. Follow the back. That's uh, Rodriguez, Mason Rodriguez. Hey, you got to think left center. Come on. One strike pitch. Little two steps off. Pitch by go to outside. Two and one. Braves have scored on one run and no hits. Here we are in the top of the third. Oh, hit it back where you come from. That's one, yeah. That's one run. Who's will play to runner? That was one of the walk. That was the yeah. second to last walk one. Yeah. And his last uh, walk is on second. And with the hit, he has uh, he got the first base. Base hit, so they got runners on first and second. It's Kristen Dufree, the H. Brody A. Bear on deck. Nobody out. Popped it back. That's a good pitch that time. Pitch by Goto. Down low, 1 1. 
do have uh, one out here, Ralph. Went and check in the press box. We have one out. Yeah, it was the, it was the first pitcher in the inning, the first batter of the inning, like I said. Okay. I'm going to say it was a pop-up. I think everything in the game was pretty much a pop-up. 2-2 uh, two -two pitch. Oh. Bottom of the strike zone. It was a good spot right there. Beautiful pitch. Might have been one of his best so far today. That third baseman again. Hate to talk bad about people. That's the error. Yeah. That's two errors and both of them on the same and both of them on the same person. It was three, three errors. Uh, uh, the the pop-up here. Yeah, yeah, the third baseman you have two and the uh, first the baseman, baseman had that one. Yeah. Pop-up. So uh, both teams are huddling. <laughs> huddling that game strategy. Yeah. <laughs> See what's gonna happen there. The the, the 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 Braves got the bases loaded. With one out, they've already got two runs. Got one hit. If, uh, the Trojans aren't victorious tonight. We'll really look at uh, the, the bad defense they played uh, this half inning. To give Bourgeois two points so far. Yeah. So it makes it a three to one game here in Matthews. Uh, the Bourgeois Braves on top. Nice. Nice. Oh, 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 play one run. Oh, oh, play two run. Oh, that's a stand up double. Two RBIs. You no. Know, what you gonna what you gonna say there, Ralph? I mean, it was just a, yeah, a good hit, sure, good a hit. good hit. And the problem was they had those walk runners on base. Yeah, I hit, yeah. I did. This is Dean used to say that they hit it where they ain't. You know, not the. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. That was a clean hit. I just cleared those two. Yeah. Both of those, that one's going to the wall. Going to the wall. And it does. Yep, yep. Another stand up double. <laughs> two are beyond. Yep. Which one might blow it open uh, right here, this half inning. It just might. Four is now 7 to 1 in favor of the Braves. And hear the uh, bourgeois dugout yelling bullpen. Oh, that's Brandon Kaiser, catcher at the plate. Next pitch by Goto. Pops it. Uh. Oh, uh, pops it up to center field. Good catch that time. Yeah, good catch, and he's able to keep the runner yes, at second sir. there, and unable to advance Craig to third. The making, making that play. All right, now we go to the I'm sorry, that last batter was Kenny Campbell. I, I, I mean, I you said, missed, you missed uh, yeah, I, I yeah. said Kaiser. This is Kaiser right here. Brandon Kaiser. Last one was Kenny Campbell. Popped up. That one Who's going to make that one? Call it. George stop George under stop. it. Good job. Made the play. All right. Finally. Oh, the Bourgeois Bray, they scored uh, six runs on three hits. Uh, three Trojan errors. That's, that, that's the key. kill that started it all off. The, the, and, three, the three walks and the three errors. And one left. So at the end of three, two and a half innings of play, 
The Braves. Three and a half innings. Two and a half innings. The Braves, seven. The Trojans, one. The three Aaron DeLone. And the pitcher Jack go through on deck. Need a rally. Ooh. Oh, 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 get in. Yeah, yeah. That's what happened. I, I yeah, see the bourgeois coach arguing about it. I believe it yeah. hit his hand. The ball didn't hit. And it, and the, it ball didn't hit the ball didn't hit the bat. The ball didn't it's hit not the bat. It didn't go all the so, way around. So it's not. It's not a, a foul ball. Discussion. Uh, got that resolved. I think umpires made them. Yeah, he made right the right through. call. It, it hit his hand. It didn't hit his back. Yeah. And we, we heard one fan say that. All right, next is uh, our pitcher, is Jack Gautreaux. And then plays on us on deck. That's all, all outside. He's uh, heading the count. So nobody out. Got a runner at first. Let's see if they can uh, get the, a rally here. The Reds still throwing hard. Yeah. Outside. He's throwing hard, but he's uh, not getting the plate, Ralph. Both those pitches are well away. Yeah. Same yeah. one. Another one away. That was high. First, first two were uh, almost in the same spot. Okay, one at a time here. Let's go. It's 3 and 0. Oh. Oh, just caught the corner. Three and one now. Ooh. Oh, what about that? Good right pitch at time. Yeah. That's a good pitch. Makes it three and two. Full count. Run right first. Shane on this play. Fouls oh, that man. one way, way out of play. And that one passed through the goal post. Remember that game last last year, Ron we was here doing the ball game. We hear him shotguns here at track meet. Yeah. <laughs> Glad they didn't have a track meet tonight with that one. Gonna try to turn two. Nope. They, they get the... They get the lead runner at second. Yep. Yeah. He got. So that's oh, going to be one play, out. I don't know if I'll play like that. I don't want to. They, they, they got that. Oh, they got the they runner big, at first and wouldn't the risk going to second. A six run lead and yeah. I think that run out of the second thing. But <laughs> <laughs> we both wouldn't have done it, but. Uh, All right. Uh, HL did. Camden plays on us. <laughs> Catcher. Number one here, uh, designated runner. Not sure who it is. That's uh, Jace Mobile. Is that first? Yeah, he's does a courtesy runner right there. He's back. Lee Rats, the pitcher. Uh, Keeping him close. Whoa. Whoa. Didn't get anybody. Uh, that's an error. Yeah. Error. Catch, catch all the third baseman. Another courtesy runner. I think he's number 11. Yeah, that's um, Brent Martin. Oh, he's out. Picked off. He's yeah. it's a good job by the short stop sneaking in the Yeah, the, yeah, and uh, the bourgeois defense.
Well, that's the first, first out, huh? Two, check it out, sorry. Two out, yeah. Two out. Oh. See if the right fielder can get on this one, and he does, and that's the third out. All right, for the Trojans, uh, no runs, one hit, uh, one Braves error, and one left. So at the end of three complete innings to play, the H.L. Bourgeois Braves, seven. This is a first Trojans, one. Good job there. Uh, good stop. Uh, I guess it's kind of a practice for the for the catcher because there's nobody on base to steal. Oh, good pitch that time. Yeah. Good pitch by Gotro. He wins the count at one. Pitch. Ooh, just uh, caught down outside. Yeah. One ball, two strikes. I was in the dirt. No, no, another one that he blocked and not let uh, get all the way here to the backstop. They're just doing a good job, I uh, guess, with this kind of practice, uh, blocking the ball with your body, keeping it in front of you. Ooh, that is a good corner. pitch. You just yeah. caught the corner round. We got number 10 coming yeah. to bat. Yeah, that's Eddie Diggs. Dings. Diggs. D-I-G-S, yes. That's upstairs. Ooh. Nice pitch that time. Yeah, got him, got him swinging on that one. One one, count. Yeah, Two balls, one strike. <laughs> Ooh. I think he jumped back. Three that one would have hit him for sure if he wouldn't have. Heads up. Concession stand. Somebody was knocking on the door. <laughs> Full count. Knocking, knocking on heaven's door. And that's four. And there that's he is again. That's uh. Next, it's I'm uh, gonna say that's his fifth walk, but I may be wrong because there was so many. Gavin. Verdict. And the plate, third baseman, running on first, taking his lead. One out here. Oh, let's see. Let's start to do a good job. And, uh, yeah. Yeah. Got the second out. Yeah. Here's number seven, Ralph. Yep, yeah. and Mason Rodriguez, first baseman. It's right up again, and, seven. Uh, Christian Dupree. On deck. Come on, throw it. Alright, now it's time for ball one. Michelle Bourgeois got the um, one out, a runner at first. Oh, swings again. Yep. Yeah. They pitched that by uh, outside. Go through that time to yeah. Rodri. Broke out. Hey. 
Runners going. Oh, yeah, Ball's he's on hit. the third now. Yeah, he can make it a third easily. A hit and run. Yeah. That's what they did there, and uh, Bourgeois did a real good job of uh, making that hit successful. Now we have runners at the corners. One out. Hey, let's square it up. Top hand through, let's go. Hit number 13. 13 that's uh, Christine. Dupree. Dupree in the play. Yeah, really, yeah. Home on. Terrible Empire. He's got a bunch of Duprees. Yeah. He just pitched oh. that down. Good take. Good take. Hmm. In Gotro's case, he'll take whatever he can get, but. Uh, that was a good pitch. <laughs> that was a good pitch when the umpire calls it a strike. Oh, pops that one up. Right fielder makes the catch, and that's All right. three away. For the Braves, no runs on one hit. No Trojan errors, and two left. So the ending, two, three and a half innings of play. The Braves seven, Trojans one. He's batting. That's a good one, but guess what? Right, right at him. Oh, no. oh, no. <coughs> Tonight it's officially a night game. The lights are on here at Bruce Art Field as the sun goes down. That one in, not gonna get the first in town. Oh, drop the ball. Arrow. Yeah. They're on the first baseman. Got him out and let him stay on. Good pitch that time. Yeah. Just Brandon Arnold. He's still throwing the heat. Hmm. When that one was. I'm Rob sorry. Too it, it, low. That's uh, no way. Rob at the plate. Oh, just batted. That one moved. One ball, two strikes. Oh, fouls of the ring. Staying alive. Good fit by Lee right there down. The strike zone. Here's the strike out. Next is uh, Brennan Fargo. Right fielder. Would you want the chance to turn a double here? Yeah, that's right. <laughs> no, there's no double. That was, that was already two outs. All right, for the Trojans, no, no runs, one Braves error. One lap and the four complete innings of play. Brave seven, Trojans one. Pretty bad for. Ooh, outside and he went after. The Braves in the top of the fifth. He had a big lead with the six run third inning. Ooh. First baseman, did you get that? All right, one out. First out for the inning. Now comes up uh, number 22. That's Brody Eber. Short stop. <laughs> Ball high. Ooh, 
got him Good there too. Time. He was the count at one and one. Boudreaux has no outs, nobody on here. Pops it up. Uh, play. It up, it goes out of play again. It's the other side. One and two here on the batter. That's Cooper Atkins. Still no one out. Outside. I thought that one caught the corner possibly. Uh, that was close, Ron. Yep. Two two count. I'm looking at it from the batter side of the, of the plate. That one was put in the same spot. Popped, up. Popped it up. And first baseman calls it. And the first base, assist for the first baseman. Yep. Two out. This is Kenny Campbell, left fielder. Two the, out, nobody on. The top of the fifth. Hopped up to left field. The fielder on the run. Oh, and it drops. E. It's going to be an E9, Ralph. E7. Oh, yeah. See, so the left fielder, not the right fielder. I can never, I can never uh, when it goes to the outfield, that's when I lose the numbers of uh, who's what position. Okay. So we got two out here. Yes, you Brandon. Runner at first. Kaiser. Catcher. Ooh, just caught the corner. It's a nice pitch. You gotta get close to the plate. Oop, ground ball. Thank you. Care. Who's that playing uh, number 22 for Central LaFouche playing third base tonight? He's not having a, a good game. Jack so. Hodson. Right. A, a Hodson not having a good game. That's kind of shocking. They're usually always uh, one of the best players. The best players uh, on the camera. <laughs> we all knew it was two outs. I should have read back at the top of the order. Yeah, two outs, uh, two on, in first and second. The HL Bourgeois Braves. Ooh, that one caught the corner again. Good pitch. He's been consistent. Uh, yeah, I'm part of the reading my mind. That's all I'm going to say. Great minds think alike. He might not like what the pitch is, but he's consistently calling in the strike, and the batters have to know that. Of course, that one. Didn't catch the outside. It was outside, but it didn't catch the plate that one. <laughs> then there for a ball. 2 1. Oh, good the stop there in the dirt. Should be 3 and 1. 3 1. Pitch there. 
Counts all the way. Yeah, full. Two runners on, two out. <laughs> oh, ah, on the strike. Yeah, yeah. All right. <laughs> the Braves, no runs. One hit. Two left. One left. Our, uh, our left fielder. He's talking about the, the Hots and Matt Hots and uh, who was the principal at Bourgeois, I believe. He was not uh, the baseball coach. It was Scott Duplantis, that's who I'm thinking of, was yep. the baseball coach. Pop that one up. Good play that time by the yeah. right, 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 short stop. He went way out in right field and yeah. made the play. He called it and he, and he delivered. The first out of the inning. You talking about the Hodgson's, uh, you can bet, bet the bottom dollar just about any Hodgson that you're going to have uh, in some sports is going to be related to the, we, we, we've the seen Ray Hodgson, Tommy Hodgson uh, yeah, family. Huh? The Ray and Mary Hodgson uh, family. Yep. Of course, the, the famous Tommy Hodgson. Who, uh, Next is the top of the lineup. That's Aaron, here at Central. Aaron DeLong. Good pitch. Consistent both ways, Lumpar. Doing a pretty good job tonight. Yeah, good pitch. Good spot. Oh, that was a good pitch. I've been a little low. It, 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 it dropped out. Oh. One, two. Let's go, Aaron! Let's go, Aaron! Let's go, Aaron! Let's go, Right field, it doesn't get it. Yep. Check it out of the inning. Next is uh, number 13. This is a pitcher, Jack Gotro. Right handed pitcher, <laughs> but a left handed batter. It's, I don't know how they can do that, right? <laughs> well, like I said, they got to be Amber Dextrix. Oh, we are sorry. In the plate, fouled in the dirt. Let's go, Two and one. Ooh. Oh, trying to slap one down the left field line, just, <coughs> just missed. Fouled it off near the track. Down the dirt. Yeah. Two two. Mm. Oh, three two. Three two. Sorry. Oh. Ah. Yeah, all right. The Trojan, no run, no hits, no errors, and no one left on base. At the end of five complete innings of play, the Braves seven, the Trojans one. Top of the sixth inning. It's number 10. 10, that's uh, Eddie Dings. Dings.
Next pitch. Oh, pops it up. On the play. Catcher catches it. Good play. Out number one. All right. Next for the Braves is number 24. That's uh, Gavin Verdick. Mason Rodriguez on deck. One out. Slaps that. High ball. One. That's a haul, haul, haul. Slaps it to the ball. But left fielder makes the good catch for yeah. the out. Wow. Went to the wall, too. <laughs> that was a good play. All right, next is uh, number seven. That's Mason Rodri. It's a quick two outs there for the Trojans. Yes, indeed. Oh, slaps, slaps, slaps it right. to the hole on the right field. Drops it in the, over the second baseman's head for base here. Yeah. Yep, four for four. Next is uh, 13. Christian Dupree, the designated hitter. The Braves have uh, just scattered hits, uh, really not, not, not having got a number of uh, consecutive hits, but just scattered them. They're a little low. Yeah, they All scattered one. them throughout tonight's game. Uh, the new pitcher for the for the for the Trojans is uh, Jacob Davis, number four. He's a small guy. Yeah. Sometimes dynamite comes in small packages, you know. Let's see what he's going to do here. Add him down low. Yeah. That one alone. No. All four. One seen stat. The two outs. Two on. And number, number 18. 18. That's uh, Brody Eber. Brody's played shortstop today for the, for the Braves. Cooper Atkins. On deck, yes. Ground ball here. Short. Goes the first. first gets and the three. All right. Three away. All right for the Braves. No runs. No throws and errors. Uh, one hit, two left for the end of uh, the end of five and a half innings of play. The, the Braves seven. The Trojans one. Uh, fourteen. Starting off the bottom of the, the sixth inning, number fourteen. That's uh, Andon. Play zones. First pitch outside. Good pitch that time by Lee Rat. Still yeah. throwing hard. Yeah. He may not need, <laughs> if he keeps throwing at this speed, he's not going to need a closer. 21 pitch. Ooh. Slabs that one, but slabs that one to the yeah, right field. Right for the first out. Now we have number four. Number four, that's uh, the Trojans. That's Jacob Davis. Pitcher. Oh, hitting. Yeah. Like it hit the pitcher in the H B P hit by pitch. Uh, he's gonna get a courtesy get, runner. Yeah. It's number one. There's Jay Smorgon. Yeah. It's the second or third time he comes in the courtesy run for the Trojans. Yeah. 
just getting that uh, at the knees, you know, bottom part of the strike zone over the plate. Just drops, but stays in the strike zone. And jump stairs. Yep. One and one. Went out in uh, the bottom of the bottom of the sixth inning. Braves are leading seven to one. Pitch down. Yeah. That one dropped two four yeah. though. Two four down. He missed the count at two. Oh yeah, oh yeah, I took that one. Yeah. Like three. Alright, two out. Next is uh number twenty one. That's Brandon Arnold for first baseman. The way he grabbed that one deck, two out. Runner at first. Steals, tries it. Gets there easily. Yeah. So while you put in the, the courtesy runner. Yeah, that was a straight steal that time. Yeah. It wasn't no, no. One is hard to stay away from. Yeah. Point two. Two out. Wow. That's a tough one to take. <laughs> One and two. That's pitch by the red. Oh, fouls it off. Fouls it off. I think after it hit the bat, it might have hit him as well. Three. Okay, for the Trojans, no runs, uh, no hits, uh, no one lap on. So at the end of six complete innings of play, the Braves seven, the Trojans one. So, top of the seventh. Oh, good that's one, that's uh, Cooper Atkins, right fielder, swung to that pitch. Outside, way outside. One <laughs> one. That one was uh, almost not even in the dirt. Oh, that's a good pitch. Swings that, but fouls it off. So, makes it one and two. Pops that one up. Oh! Aaron. Yep. E four. Yes, indeed. Second baseman. All right, next is uh, number 19. Mm -hmm. That's Kenny Campbell, the left fielder. He has, he has a few hits today. That's why his name sounds so familiar. His name really sounds so familiar, though, in general. Squares pulls back, bowls in the dirt, runner doesn't go. 
Good job by the Trojans on the defense there. So we're going to look for the sacrifice here is what Bourgeois did uh, right there. Let's see if they can try it again here on this next pitch. Squares. Doesn't go. I think like both those pitches were down low. Yeah. They, they were around. Squares again. Same place. All yeah. of them in the reserve. It's, uh, it's, earning, it's, earning. It's, it's, it's bot it's, they're, they're bottoming out. Catch is earning his uh, his jersey today. I'm telling you. The, the catcher, yeah. <laughs> Better use Oxy clean if he wants to get his jersey clean. Oh, oh! I thought that one just caught it, caught the strike zone, but a little low. We'll have a little pitcher catcher conversation here. Yeah, Coach uh, Pitts is coming out. And I hadn't seen anybody. Well, I can't see the, the bullpen really well. I don't know if he's going uh, to make a change. Uh, all right, but uh, change his closer again, possibly. The Braves have runners on on uh, first, first and second, first and second. second, yeah. And I don't think there's nobody out. Yeah. He came and got him. Number 12. And 12 here is the new pitcher. Number 12. Looks like he's a. Uh, Brandon Ballone. This is the number I, I didn't need in my head. It was number 12. No, it's not. They, they swapped. Uh, they swap positions. Number 12 came in and number, number five, five is the pitcher. That's Mason Andres. He's already in the lineup. He was a Yeah. He was they, a short they stop. Moved, they moved they moved the positions around. Yeah. Kept it same knowing in. Yeah. Took the pitcher out and then they swapped the. We're in the. Him and made the, the shortstop the pitcher. In the top of the seventh, it's a seven to one score. The, the Braves over the Trojans. Uh, Braves has runners on first and second it, uh, with nobody out. But they're getting ready to make a, a big rally. Actually, this game, Ron, was just all, 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 it was all about the top of the third inning when the Braves scored six runs. Uh, in the one-to-one -one game at the time. That's right. And in, in, in the top of the third, this is really what happened. So, uh, Central Lafouche had a, a bad a bad uh, half inning. And uh, HL Bourgeois Braves had a good half inning. And that's yeah. where they scored those six runs at. And, and basically, that was the game that happened. The unique thing is they scored those six runs with just three hits. But the Trojans yes. made three errors in that, in that inning. And it cost them... Uh, Cost him a and, bunch of, and, and, bunch and of runs. Was, 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 those were some walks that Central Lafouche uh, put some runners on as well. So uh, that, that's the, the, the third inning. The top of the third is probably the inning that did it all because Trojan scored uh, one in the bottom of the second and and uh, the Braves scored that first run in the top of the first. So, uh, so that was come the, the game in, in that half inning. All right, so next, far. next hit the plate is number three. That's uh, Kaiser, Braden Kaiser. First one, it was a good pitch in there for a strike. First and squares. The bunt. Right down the line, foul. Oh, 
sign. Pitch by Andres. Boom, oh, slaps it down, foul. Foul ball. Down the third base line. One and two. The Braves runners on first and second, they were going on that hit. HBP. Hit by pitch. Lowers the bases. The base is loaded, yeah. Braves in the process of putting one of those six inning runs again. Yeah, loads <laughs> them up with Big nobody out again. here. And number 23. That's the top of the lineup. That's uh, Luke Lirat, pitcher. He was. Uh, Still throwing the heat. Let's see if he can swing the bat. High and outside. Next pitch by Andrus. That one's in the dirt. In the dirt. Oh, Charles. Three. Broke out of the strike zone. Where's it in a run? Walks in. Makes it eight to one now in favor of the bourgeois Braves. Second run comes in. Wow. Just scored two runs on one play. Uh, real quick. Still nobody out. As Gavin. The runners at second Verdi. and third. Number 24, who? It's uh, Gavin. Vordick, V O R D I C K, Vordick. Oh, I thought that was a strike. <laughs> we moved out seating position, so. Still nobody out. That one was a ball outside. It was a good job there by the catcher to keep it in front of him uh, to make sure that runner on third doesn't come in and score. It's a pass ball. Oh, pops that one up. Nobody calls for it and it falls. That'll plate the runner at third. So now with that, they score another run. Still nobody out. Yeah, still nobody out. It's uh, 11 to 1. Uh, and Bourgeois has runners at first and second. A little outside. And seven here is a little little tall. On that, didn't That's Mason Rodriguez uh, at the plate right now. The player there by yeah, the left fielder by the planners. Hey, let's go. Time to get hot. Let's go. All right. Next is uh, it's Kristen 
Dupree. Got to come up and make that play. Yeah. He got him. Ball came out. Nope, lost the ball. Look at him. He's going to play another run. Wow. Now we make it. Uh, Uh, I'd be 13 to 1. Yes. As that six runs, third inning popped it up again. Yeah. <laughs> Got one out. Run right second. about the umpire's consistency all night long, but I think he was uh, definitely wrong that time. He didn't catch the corner on the outside. <clears throat> no. Makes it two and one with that pitch. Um, don't really make the big bucks, but uh, they make the calls. It's a three and one, right? Yep, three and one. And Talking board. about the umpires, we never see an umpire like this behind the plate that uh, uh, keeps up the count so well. Did a good job that time. Yep, full count now. On Brody Eber. See if he can get the strike out. Cool. And he does. Tipped it right into the catcher's mitt. Yep. Right number two. Two way. Next is number Coop, twenty-two. Cooper Atkins. He's number twenty-two. There's two out, and there's a runner at second. Oh, slap that one back. To the shortstop, and doesn't pick it up. Oh, yeah. A run. yeah, almost had him out of the play. Yeah, I know. It's closer than what I thought it would yes, be. Yes, indeed. Lost my numbers this time, Ron. I don't know how many hits they had. <laughs> they got a bunch too, of hits. Too many. Plenty to not enough, I guess you might yeah. say. <laughs> Two out. This is uh, Kaiser, Brandon, Braden, Kaiser. Didn't go? Yeah, he wanted to go after it. Yeah. Braves uh, one out, got a runner at first here. As the inning continues. Small pitch. Kind of tried to block it there, but uh, wasn't successful enough. <coughs> Pitch there high. Another one. All right, not so. All four. The wall. Two runners on one. Hey, look. The Braves, I think, two Luke, outs I think Luke, Luke Lee Rats going to be coming back up. It's the top it's, of the, they went through the entire lineup there, right? Through the lineup, yeah. We started off the uh, inning. Yeah. First batter of the this inning. Might be the last batter of this inning with two outs here. Oh, that's not that. Uh, that's the. Uh, 
That's number three. Kaiser. Didn't he read? So you have the last person in the lineup. Umpire was talking to the pitcher. I don't know what that was about. Oh, pops it up. Let's see who's going to call it. Nobody calls it, and look what happens. One run scores that I saw. I was watching all the base runners. There's nobody, nobody. Somebody needs to take charge when this type, this type of It's just not good up. defense. I mean, that was a horrible defensive yeah, play. So infield yeah, yeah, pop yeah. up, but somebody's got to call that. I mean, catcher, pitcher, first baseman, shortstop, third base, somebody. Keeps the ball in the dirt. Let's see if we'll have a throw down to third. No nope. boat runners advance with no throw anywhere. Now the Braves have uh, runners at second and third two outs here hope we can get a strike out here to stop the bleeding good pitch that time yeah. by, by davis i'm sorry and andres meese and andres Yes. Picked him off. Oh, that's a good job there by yeah. the catcher. He caught him at third. All right. Uh, uh, to, to, to give you a, a synopsis on what the score <laughs> this inning run. Uh, eight runs, a uh, bunch of hits, a couple of throws and errors, and no one more. and one and one left. So you end up six and a half innings of play. The Braves fifteen. The Trojans one. But uh, <laughs> the joking here and there. Wise cracked by Ron and one uh, one uh, our counterparts. Anyway, <laughs> I'm glad I'm not y'all age. Anyway, <laughs> <laughs> I'm a 21. That's uh, Brennan Arnold. Start off the bottom of the seventh inning. I know this old man who used to be an umpire. Yeah, I did, I sure, I did my share by that blue guy behind the plate. See that? He admitted you old. Yeah. Uh, been a few Here years. Been a few years. Here we go. I know even my back starts to hurt. Yeah, I gotta sit down every now and then. <laughs> oh. Like the guy says, uh, he says, I got a week back. He said, How long you been out a week back? You can see about a week back. We gotta have, we gotta, we gotta have some laughter at this yeah, score. You we, know? We, 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 uh, <laughs> With the score the way it is, it's now uh, we just gotta give you a little entertainment here. Yeah. Lirette's still hitting that corner. He's got a little, uh, a little zip on that ball. Man, he's good. like I said, he was gonna be the finisher. He's gonna finish the game, and that's exactly right. That's what he intends to do. Oh! Got a lot on that one, but the defense yeah. of HL Bourgeois brings they do a good job they always call the ball every time the ball is hit yeah. and what happened right there the uh, left fielder called off the center fielder and he made the play and got the first out okay this is Noe Graber swings at a hot fast ball for strike one yes I do want to get some runs on the board they got a swing in the pitches yes indeed Pitch. And inside. Two balls, two strikes. Trying to wrap up the bottom of the seventh inning. Oh, HBP. Hit by pitch. Hey, let's just get through the inning. Don't be too cool. 
We're talking about the scoreboard and um, how old it is. I said it was about 20 years old, and now that I think of it, it's exactly right. And it was first used in the 01 season when yeah, I they, was they, here. They, they've done they've done a lot of improvements since uh, over the years. Uh, the uh, aluminum bleachers, uh, concession stands, and just haven't. Uh, I go on. That's uh, Ren and Fogel. They haven't done anything with bathroom facilities, but the bathroom facilities are right there at the stadium, so yeah. really not, that's really not a... In the home side of the football yeah, stadium. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's really not a, a big issue. Feel is pretty nice. Like, uh, like you said, uh, scoreboard needs some work no, on the it. The worst thing, and, and, and yeah, that's the worst uh, thing to see work. And, and I remember a few years back... The problem I see uh, with the... Uh, baseball complex. Yeah, I, rem I remember a few years back when we had the hurricane came and, and now the field of lights down. That's been addressed. Uh, I know they did that on the... Oh, uh, wow. That thing number, oh. I know they addressed that on the, on the, on the girls' field. Yeah, see, uh, that, I found that there's one light bulb out uh, here on, on the boys' uh, baseball field. The COVID has really took a toll to the to all the schools in the in the parish, as it has all, everywhere. It's, um, it's affected all 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 programs. Programs uh, just couldn't get in uh, in rhythm. Uh, you didn't know from one day to the next day if you're going to have a game or whatever, you know. No, protecting the plate. Foul, foul back. Foul goal. Right fielder. Trojans are a very young team this year. 15 to 1 here in the bottom of the seventh. They're hanging in there. Well, what's my famous saying? They're protecting the plate. Yeah. Yeah, this game we can just spot Russian. Actual tenure, I should be protecting the strike zone. Yeah. Next pitch. Oh, that was a good pitch. Yeah, out of bound, out of play. Yeah. Out of field of play. Yeah. Next pitch by Lee Red. Oh. High three. Good pitch. Do it hard. Out. Lee Red still got it, Ralph. Yeah, he sure does. All right, next is uh, Craig DePlanis trying to keep it going for the for the Trojans. Ron, this game was uh, basically a little wrap up. It's a game of two uh, two two innings, the third inning and the seven innings for the Brave. They top of both. Yeah, they scored. They scored four. I mean six. In the, in the third inning and eight in the seventh inning and just uh, to take the big lead. Other than that, it's one to one. It's what it was for for two innings. Still, in the Braves busted it open. But uh, a lot of a lot of Trojans mistakes. Uh, things that uh, coach needs to coach needs to address and try to get the, these kids to back get back in rhythm. And as I said, COVID has a lot to do with what has taken place this year. You yeah. could never, you never get back into the into the rhythm of a game. Ooh, right. it was mm. after that one. Yeah, but we see the uh, in the top of the third. Uh, H.L. Bourgeois scored six runs, and and technically they didn't score six runs. It was that Central Lafourche's bad defense that they played allowed them to score those runs. Yeah. yeah. Uh -oh. The top of the last half, you know, uh, top of seventh, um, I think Bourgeois played a lot better and just had a good inning offensively. Yeah, you can't be goal errors that the Trojans made today and yeah. you know, playing to, to stay in the ball game and the Braves have got the... Se seven, seven errors, seven errors uh, uh, 
if if the numbers are correct on the scoreboard, if the lights are are working properly. <laughs> no. Oh. It's going to plate. Uh, hey, at least picked up a score. We just score a run here. Ah, ah, my boy put put a score in the home team bracket. <laughs> Makes it 15 to two. Still in favor of uh, Bourgeois. Run the right first. Two out here. This is uh, Delone. Delone pops it. Foul. And play made by the third baseman. All right, that's the, that's the end of the ball game. Uh, hope you, you enjoyed the, the, the see the Braves in those two beginnings that uh, that they they had scored real real well. So hope you enjoyed the ball game. See y'all next time. We'll be here next Thursday covering another tr Trojans baseball game. For my sidekick Ron Sapier, this is Ralph Sapier saying good night from Central Lafourche High School.